Hey everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Aqualab. So, since the first episode, I've managed to read through some of your comments. You guys had some awesome names, by the way, for, like, I guess, what to call the underwater area that I'm going to be building, the base and all that stuff. One of my favorites so far was Bentlantis. <laughs> I was actually looking at names earlier on for, like, Aqualab and such like that, but, um... Atlantis came up, and I was like, well, a lot of people will use that, but then some of you guys put, like, a little twist on it and made me actually kind of like it again. So, I don't know, maybe you guys have some other ideas as well, but I'm still going to be taking ideas as we're not to that point just yet. Um, the reason why I'm also building here is because, well, we have that coral reef right there, and it looks awesome. I believe that's more, I think that's biomes of plenty over on this side with the coral reef and stuff, I think. There is another type of coral reef added in by Mariculture, I believe, but I think that's out in the distance. If you see those, like, um, seaweeds and stuff like that out there in the distance, I think that's Mariculture area. This is like an oceanic abyss, I believe, and I think that's Railcraft, I want to say. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just guessing here. But anyways, you guys are going to notice that I have some different items on my inventory and hotbar. Um, I'm going to explain that in just a moment, but first, I want to run over one little thing real quick. Today's episode is going to be a little bit shorter, mainly because I want to make sure to get an episode out for you guys today. Well, the day you guys are seeing it. So, I had plans on getting something else up. That didn't really work out. <laughs> the video wasn't cooperating with me, so I'm attempting to try to get this done really quick for you guys. So hopefully you don't mind. Please don't hate me for it being shorter. I'm trying to get something out, and I hope it's better than nothing. So, with that being said, let's get started. Um, I do want to talk about the Crucible Furnace a little bit, because I was... Uh, I was under the impression that the lava was going to be able to keep this thing actually fully heated up, but lava, actually itself, only heats up so much. And I can actually show you guys that through this method. So if I take a bucket of lava, put it in my inventory, and hover over it while I'm in the Crucible Furnace GUI, it'll actually tell me how much, you know, uh, I guess, fuel it, it uses, basically, for lava. So, like, the uh, overall temperature it's going to get up to is 1,500 degrees Celsius, and it tells you how much it burns, basically. So, it's not horrible, which is, it's fine. It kind of keeps it heated up, more or less, which I'm cool with, and I don't mind having that on all the time. Uh, I also went ahead and made these, standard heating upgrades. What those do, and that I've seen, um, <laughs> I was trying to look it up because like, I wasn't for sure what some of these other ones did, so I was going to hopefully look it up. So, and if you guys know, please let me know. I don't know if there's anything else that I can put in the Crucible Furnace as far as upgrades are concerned. So if you guys have uh, any you know tips about that, please let me know. But I went ahead and upgraded to the second tier, I guess which is the standard heating upgrade. Not too hard to make. Uh, I just needed some of these heating components that we uh, made in the first episode and then, like, put an ironing in there in the center. Yeah, so it's not too bad. And same thing here, aluminum, basic heating upgrade. And what that does is it allows it to heat up faster. So I was doing some thinking on what I could do to actually wind up utilizing this as my ore processing system because I really like that and I think it would be cool. Um, I think I'm going to have to stick with coal, because what I'm probably going to wind up doing is maybe making a uh, magical crops farm. Coal essence is actually fairly easy to come by, and I'll probably wind up doing that a little bit off camera, just because I've done a little bit... You stupid iron bucket. I've done a little bit of that before on uh, camera, I believe, in another series, but I'll do a little bit here, I think. We'll see. Uh, one of the things I do want to work on real quick, though, Mariculture is going to be one of our biggest mods I'm going to be messing around with in this little series. Uh, don't get me wrong, I will be doing other things as well, but this is one of the ones I really want to focus on, because I, I think it's kind of been overlooked, and I really like this mod, uh, but there's some books in here? Ah, here they are. See which is guide. Fish breeding, I'll have to get that later. How to dive. I think this is the factory. Iron wheel. Is that one important? Maybe it's that one. Snorkel. Okay, so I'm going to need some sugar cane and glass and wood. Okay. Sugar cane. Do I even have any sugar cane? Uh, 
Wow, I don't even have sugar cane. Okay, this this should be fun, this unsetting. Uh, I, I think I at least can do an attempt to make <laughs> the lenses real quick. And then I'll sleep and go out and see about finding the uh, reeds. So, let's see. Let's do that. By the way, I found some Sakura wood. And I don't know if you guys know this. I really love the Sakura wood. Um, myself, especially the one from Nichiro, just because it's like a, to me it's almost like a pastel or something like that, I don't know, <laughs> don't mind me, oh wait, I'm supposed to go over my inventory, I'm sorry guys, <laughs> I'm trying to like cram as much as I possibly in, uh, yeah, as much as I possibly can in to the episode, so you guys aren't like upset, so, uh, please, uh, please understand guys, I'm trying here, I'm trying, Alright, so I'm going to go over this really quick, like, uh, you guys are going to notice I have this Obsidian Paxel, and you guys will probably note from Astronauts, once you guys get to that episode, uh, which isn't too far away, that um, <laughs> a level 5 enchant gave me this. I put a level 5 enchant just with a normal, uh, just enchanting table, no bookshelves or anything, and it gave me this. Unbreaking 3, Fortune 3, Efficiency 4 on an Obsidian Paxel. Now, I made the Obsidian Paxel to help clear out an area, just because the Paxel is fairly quick at clearing out uh, blocks, especially with Efficiency 5. So I did have another one, and that is actually somewhere else at the moment. So um, I think that's back at the Astronauts area. Oh, hello. Sorry, sheep. I like that. <laughs> I like that hat. That's like a Luigi hat. What are you? I don't have that hat. Pig, I'm sorry. Uh, you guys are going to notice my little dagger here is actually really cool. This is, uh, I named it the Varoxius Dagger because I used Metallurgy Metals on it and I managed to get Poison 1 from Varoxeries, the Ignite 1, which is Ignitus. So I kind of combined those names together and uh, came up with this. So this also has Auto Repair on it, Sharpness, and uh, Luck. So it's really nice. I'm probably going to wind up making another one later on anyway. But this is just kind of in uh, the beginning to mess around with it. See how well it works. I think I needed some pumpkins. Wow, look at all these hats, man. <laughs> I don't know what is what it's with me and hats, but I've been really like collecting them lately. Eh, frame rate. Stop this. All right, guys. What I'm gonna do real quick, just to save us on some time. That's not like a hungry note. Um, is I'm gonna go ahead and run around. I'm gonna grab some reeds real quick. I don't know if there's any close by, and that's what, ooh. good lord, glit all the bamboo over there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get that in a little bit. Earth elemental, huh? I need to test this. Okay, this is not working out too well, but efficient enough. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna run real quick, grab some reeds. We'll be right back. All right, guys, and I'm back. I managed to find me a cow real quick and killed it, and I got some leather so I can make me a book as well. So here's our snorkel, and I was going to get enough, but I guess I didn't have enough. Uh, let's see, sugar canes. We're going to need paper for one book. There we go. And the snorkel will give us how to dive, breathing underwater. Now, I could probably have gotten this some other way, but... Um, I don't really know. <laughs> I am a little unsure on how that uh, book is unlocked. So, uh, Mariculture provides various different ways to breathe underwater or breathe or work underwater better. From the simplicity of simple or of simply extended air supply with a snorkel to the full out ocean exploring usefulness of the scuba gear. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. Snorkel. They extend the length of time you can stay underwater, providing you small amounts of air every now and then. Ah. So I know a little bit about the air pump. I've used it a little bit before, but uh, there's some other stuff here, like the diving pieces here. Ooh, wow, look at all that leather. Ugh. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to make that today, but maybe. Let's see, what is that? The scuba mask. Hmm. Now, there's actually another set that I can wind up using that I, I do like the way it looks. It's actually from Mechanism, and it's called the Gas Mask. And it also has a, um, a tank on the back of it as well. Um, I'm kind of looking 
towards maybe starting something like that up today if I possibly can. So there's, uh, let's see, gas. There it is, right there, the dick, the gas mask. So that's not too bad to make, actually. Uh, requires... Uh, not the control circuit. I guess the other circuit. Nope, nope, nope. Stop it. This one. This one's the easier one to make. This from Mechanism. So it's enriched alloy, redstone, some steel, and glass. So that's not horrible to make at all. Um, I think what I want to attempt to do real quick is I'm going to try to combine some of this iron with the magnesium. Let's see if I can smelt it together in this guy. So what I'm going to need is... A little bit of coal. I don't know if I have any laying around. Ah, there it is. So I just take a block of coal, place this in there. As you can see, it's going to take its max temp up to 2,000 degrees. And, uh, phew, max temp piece per use is 378 degrees Celsius. So, there it goes. Nice. Alright, so I'm going to take iron ore, put it in there. Mang uh, manganese in there. And I think the manganese is, yeah, melt, melting point's pretty low on that, so it's going to start working right away for that. Uh, but this is going to heat up pretty quickly. It's going to start working and making us some steel. All right, now besides that, I'm going to need a metallurgic infuser. I'm at least going to try to get this gas mask done, because I think it looks pretty awesome. This is actually not bad to make, so we're going to need two furnaces. Which I actually want to get one of these done anyway, because... I do want to go into a little bit of mechanism. Mechanism's got some really cool stuff in it. And I really want to go into it because I want to keep up my supply of Paxels. Because I kind of want to wind up using those instead this, uh, I guess, this season. Or this series more than anything just because I, I like Paxels. And I don't really have much time otherwise that I wind up using them. So, iron, osmium. Do I have any osmium? Please tell me I have some osmium. Oh, there we go. Good. I don't need much, just a little bit, so I'm just going to cook up one real quick. I think I can use the bamboo as fuel, but I should have some fuel around here somewhere. That'll suffice. It should be more than enough. All right, and then I just need a little bit of iron. I did find some redstone, right? Yep, there we go. I'll just go ahead and fortune this real quick. That'll work. I need to start harvesting this stuff. I'm also going to try to attempt and make a... Lumber axe from Tinker's uh, Construct, though, to just get rid of the trees. Either that or a force axe from Darkcraft. I'm not sure which yet. If I do the Darkcraft uh, way, I'll probably wind up going through and showing you guys that, just because I don't think I've really done any of the new stuff lately. Wait, what's it? Oh, it's already exporting. Drat. Hold on. i got to turn this off. Auto eject disabled. So we'll disable that for now. I should probably just pick this up for now. Set this up to a different extraction method. Maybe like, hmm, maybe like a fluid duct maybe would work. But this should work, hopefully. This should turn this into steel. Molten iron. Why isn't the manganese melting? I guess maybe it's because it's trying to melt through the iron first. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to let that work real quick. Uh, let's see. What else do I need? Infuser. Now, I am going to need a little bit of power for this. I'm trying to get just something basic set up for it. Do I have everything? I do. Actually, give me all that redstone, because I am going to need that. There we go. There is the metallurgic infuser. This is like the beginning part, I think, <laughs> is the best way of saying it, of a mechanism here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put eight in there. It's going to fill that up. I need to go along with that eight iron ingots. That'll go there. Now we just need a small source of power. Now, luckily enough, these were at the astronauts area. I went ahead and picked these up. And these were made by Teddy here, I think. 
Um, I went ahead and picked him up just because uh, we don't need him over there anymore. <laughs> we have other means of power now that are a little bit better. So, up uh, oh, there it goes. Yeah, there we go. So it's got it had a little bit of stored RF in it already. Now, uh, to provide this guy power, you can either put like a bucket of lava in there that'll provide more power for it, or you can surround it with lava, which is a little bit more of a passive <laughs> power supply, but it's a little bit slower, of course, too, so that's fine. But for now, I just need some enriched alloy, just a little bit to get me going. Place this here, redstone there, and there's my control circuit, nice and easy. Alright, now this, I'm going to go ahead and try removing this guy. Actually, no, you know what, I'm just going to wait, I'm going to wait it out, so I'll see you guys back here when this is... Hopefully starting to make us some steel. Alright guys, and a back. Apologies, eh, I don't know what's going on here. Um, I was under the impression that I could make alloys in this, like uh, steel and such, but I guess I can't. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to work when there's already like a molten liquid in the crucible furnace, so like, I can't like melt something else down. Now, obviously this isn't melting down because, well, it's not at the right melting point, but as soon as I took the molten iron out of this, the manganese finally started melting down. So I guess I can't do it there. I'm not sure if you can do it in the ingot caster. I tried, but I guess maybe I wasn't fast enough or anything. Uh, I used the ladle there, so I made that, which wasn't too bad to make, but it was just three pieces of copper. Uh, what I'm going to try to do to get steel is, I think, if I remember correctly, you can take coal, put in there, and then iron, and I think that makes steel. Another way is I have these steel leggings that I got uh, off of drops. So if I repair this up a little bit more, there we go, full. Um, you guys are going to notice I have some forced gems. I'm going to go ahead and use my iron that I have. I know I can smelt this to get dart iron. I'm just going to do that for now. If I'm not mistaken, I need a stick. Hopefully the Natura sticks work for this. So I'm probably going to need nuggets. Eh, doesn't. Darn it. Right, you know what? Go in there. You can be fuel for later. Go in there. Uh, I need... F there, there, there's sticks. <laughs> Completely overlooked it. There we go. So there's a force rod. Throw that on the ground. That doesn't work. No. Oh, man. I thought that would work. Well, anyway, enriched iron. Now, what else do we do to this? This is going to another coal through, and that'll give us steel dust. So, is that empty? It is. So, we'll put a little bit more in there, let that run through that, and that should give us some steel dust. Now, I only need two, in which that should be enough. So, let me go ahead and get this gas mask recipe set up down here. So, if I remember correctly, we needed... Just alloys on the sides. And I could be completely wrong on this, which I probably am. So I'm going to go ahead and look it up. Gas mask. Oh, there's gas craft. Oh, wait, no, what, what am I doing? Yeah, see, I was completely wrong. I needed the controls are yet. I guess I was thinking of something else. That on the sides, I need three pieces of steel. Thankfully, I got enough. Put you in there. Have any fuel source? Four sticks should suffice. And I hope that's enough for you, a slab. If not, we'll get through it. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna probably have to call it here if I want to manage to get this up for you guys um, on Monday. Um, so hopefully, you guys, like I said, understand. Hopefully, you guys don't mind. And that did not go through. Crud. There's two more sticks for you, man. So hopefully you guys understand, and <laughs> don't hate me too much. I'm trying here at least. Got to give me props for that, right? But at least we're getting started, right? We got a little bit of a, a start into diving. Now I'm going to probably go into Maricultures a little bit. But I think the one I want to probably use the most is the gas mask, because I do like the way it looks. Check this out. That is so cool. <laughs> oh, I got a hat on. 
Whoops. Uh, where's none? Remove hat. Done. There we go. That works. So anyways, guys, that's going to about do it for today. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next time, I promise, I'll have a longer episode for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you guys would rate the video, I'd really appreciate it. If you guys have any other name ideas, please be sure to let me know down in the comments. I'll be reading those. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.